In your view, is this the start of a bull market? I do think it is. I mean, there are a couple of things that one has to be minded of. First of all, I mean, if I reading all the commentary this morning, um, press coverage, whatever, I mean, still an extraordinary amount of negativity. So markets were at one of the fourth most bearish positions a couple of weeks ago across the board, both bonds and equities. So positioning uh, is very favorable for a sustained rally here. If one looks at the fundamentals, um, yes, that was one print, but the trend has been already starting to soften. And if you dig more deeply into the numbers, uh, the one standout gain uh, for the October figures was in fact energy, and that's kind of been reversed in the last few days. So I do think going into Q1 next year, we're going to see further softening of inflation. We'll also be helped by some of the rebasing because there were some high figures in that Q1 figure from this year. Uh, so investors need to ask themselves, if inflation is coming down, um, the Fed has already told us quite clearly that it will be watching the data and that will recognize the fact that there's a cumulative effect from a substantial amount of tightening already. And that means, to my mind, that we may get 50 basis points in December, but I think very much that's likely to be uh, the top in terms of Fed funds rates. Uh, so that's my view that, you know, look, this is you know, not just one swallow. This is part of a trend. Um, markets were oversold, investors are under position. And I see a, a very substantial rally going into next year. Um, the other slightly more longer term factor to, to consider is that actually wage inflation uh, is very positive for equities. Um, I appreciate it's a challenge for central banks, but if you look at nominal growth and nominal sales, um, those high wage prints that we've seen throughout the year across the Western world are going to be translated into money being spent in shops. And that's one thing, again, if you look at the figures today in the UK, if you listen to the press coverage, you'd assume that we were going into you know, savage recession, depression, who knows what. Uh, the, the, the press coverage could be more negative. And hey, Presta, I'm not saying it's a great figure. So there is some contraction, but it's a very minor yeah, contraction. Yeah, so, so you've raised the number. I think, again, one of my standout picks is the UK.